Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, it is yours truly once again, the Corporate Security Translator and also the author of So You Want to Get Into Security. I want to talk to you once again about three concepts that I think are super important when you're applying for that job as you're, as you're coming out of the military, law enforcement, emergency services, or the federal job. So these are three very important things that I really need you to think about as you as you going through that transition. So one of them is about the position. As you're looking for the position that you're looking for in a corporate world, make sure it truly matches to what your resume in is. Uh, a lot of times you get one opportunity. You get one opportunity to make a great impression. And if your resume doesn't match that job description almost to the T, if your resume doesn't show that you have that background in the corporate world, you might fail at that opportunity. And another thing that I see that happens often is that people will put in for every single job a corporation has just because you spent a couple of months in, it in your prior career. Don't do that. You won't have the background for it. Remember, you are competing with every other person that's about to retire from those lines of, of, of business, as I mentioned. So don't do it. Make sure you focus on the one job that really mirrors your resume. The second piece that I think it's super important too, it's about the company and the culture. Make sure as you come in, you truly stu study that company, study the culture, study their, their stocks, what their mission is about, what they really care for in the world uh, today. And the reason for that is that when, when the time comes to the interview, you want to make sure that, that you understand the company, you know what they're about, you, you really want to be there. And trust me, you understand their culture. Every culture is a little bit different. So that is the second piece. What about the company culture? You should really look into that. And the third piece and the most important, I talk about it all the time and it's wardrobe. The funny thing is, where I work today, you could come in with uh, shorts, t-shirt, and your boat shoes, and that's perfectly okay. Well, what you don't want to do is come into a company like that in a full suit. Um, and the reason for that, it's just not what we do in those interviews. So really follow the guidance of those recruiters and those HR uh, experts that reached out to you from those companies and said, hey, you might want to dress down a little bit. That's just not what the company is about. So great for the military, law enforcement, federal jobs, emergency services. You come in on an interview with a nice and suit and tie and you look sharp, you look good. But a lot of the companies in the world today, that's just not how they operate. So don't be super overly dressed just because you think that's the thing to do. Uh, make sure that you talk to those HR representatives and ask the questions, hey, what do you, what do you think I should uh, dress up when I go to this uh, interview? What, what do you think I should wear? So three important keys about the position themselves. Make sure you mirror it to your resume and your background. The second one is about the company and culture. Make sure you really want to be part of that company and that culture. And the third one is, hey, when you get that call and you're about to go interview, really think about your wardrobe and what you're wearing. Make sure it matches everything that's going on uh, around you for that interview. So once again, the corporate security translator here and the writer of show you want to get into security. Make sure you pick that, uh, that book up when it comes out in stores. And uh, if you ever have any questions, hey, reach out to me. Take care and have an awesome day. We'll see you through the transition.